Hi, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I thought I would start this new series where I uh, cook a different dish from a different country, area or region. Um, it's mainly because I'm not getting to travel as much as I would like to. So this is my way to travel the world and I think exploring cuisines is the best way to understand a culture so my theme of travel has always been gastro travel and um, i love understanding what people from various parts of the world eat how they eat the community how they come together when they eat so yeah i thought um, this would be my own way of exploring the world um, today i'm gonna start off the series with senegalese peanut butter stew which is also known as mafe and i'm gonna make it with chicken and also this recipe is kind of special to me because my partner is senegalese and this is like the first dish that he cooked for me so i hope i make you proud live i went on youtube and i looked through a few different recipe videos for the same um and um i hope i do justice to the dish if i make any mistakes please do forgive me also i want to give out a disclaimer that i am not trying to teach this recipe this is not my cuisine or my culture so i'm definitely not trying to teach anything that i do not belong from this is just my way to explore and try a different dish first up i have some onions that i need to slice um, i'm gonna take a couple of onions i've already like washed and kept my veggies that i need for this dish um, so i'm gonna slice up a couple of onions and we'll get on from there So some of the vegetables need to be blended so we have like some spring onions um, some pepper I have seen that traditionally red pepper is used red bell pepper is used but I didn't have any and uh, a couple of tomatoes and some rosemary that I got from the garden from the terrace garden I'm gonna roughly chop some spring onion and just add that to the blender. I don't think I can blend it all in one go. So I think I'll need like a couple of, um, I'll need to blend it twice. And also I'm gonna use a couple of tomatoes and some sprigs of rosemary that will also go into blender. time to pour in some oil we'll seal the chicken a little bit I like to add a little bit salt white After searing your chicken, if you find that the bottom of your pan is slightly uh, burnt, do not be scared. It will get deglazed eventually when you add more liquids to it. Um, after that, I added the ginger garlic paste. A lot of people add ginger and garlic to the blend when you're making the pepper and spring onion blend. But I decided to add the ginger garlic paste since I already had it made. And then I added it, uh, the concentrated tomato paste. It's different than tomato puree, which a lot of us Indians are used to using. After that, I added in my blend and we will need to cook it out a little bit till all of the raw smell leaves. Um, and you might have seen that the pot already got deglazed. And then I'll add in the peanut butter. A lot of people have seen that they uh like to add peanut butter and water and um make a paste of it and then add it to the curry but i decided it's gonna melt anyway so i added it later and then i added in some thyme uh red chili powder 
black pepper powder and cumin powder and the maggie cubes i have seen some people add parsley as well again i did not have fresh parsley and i had run out of dried parsley as well so yeah and also i did not add any additional salt to the gravy because um the maggie cubes have a lot of salt already and eventually i'm gonna add fish sauce so that also adds a bit of like umami and like salt uh, like it has salt so now i'll add in all of the seared chicken and give it a nice mix eventually we'll pour in some water and um, let it cook for maybe 20 25 minutes till your chicken is completely cooked properly So you see me adding fish sauce and I did that because uh, traditionally the recipe uses crayfish powder which I obviously did not have access to and also I don't um, really like the strong fishy smell of crayfish powder but yeah and now we let it cook and then it's almost done when you see the oil separate that's oil from the peanut butter and that's nothing to be scared of um it's basically oil from the chicken fat and the peanut butter and also i use chicken with skin you can use chicken without skin if that's not something you like this looks so it smells so good right now done with the recipe and now it's time to taste i know a lot of people i've seen them add like a lot of vegetables to it but the first time i had it there were no vegetables so i just tried to make um whatever i had the first time and let's try mm. it's so yum it's legit one of my favorite dishes i've ever tried in my life and it's creamy it's uh, it's a little spicy and uh, for the last time i made it it was actually a little sweet i did not like it as much but this time it's perfect i wish i was here i think i would have made him proud um, but unfortunately maybe sometime I'm gonna cook it for him later in future but now I'm gonna go and enjoy my mafe I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys would want to watch this series so yeah if you did like then please smash the like button hit subscribe and tap on the bell button to be notified each time I post a video and of course like please leave a comment down below and let me know which country uh, you would want me to travel next and try a dish of that country so yeah bye